name is Ayumi Paul. I was born in Germany. Ayumi, my first name, comes from Japan because my mother is Japanese and it means to do it your own way. I was trained as a classical violinist. Because I'm so grounded in one practice, it gives me the basis for freeing myself from it at the same time and not having to use it as a tool anymore, but more as something that I come from. When I prepare a work as the one I'm going to be preparing as a response to Pinari's installation, I just see where it takes me. I start to research history, I start to study people's faces, I try to get a feeling for the place where my work is going to be happening. Today, everything I do is for the space and for the specific audience. It's never repeatable. It's very, very personal. Very few kimono dresses of that time are left today, but I developed a dream to ask women of my life, women who had an impact on me in a certain way, to give me a piece of textile that talks about a story of themselves and to stitch my own dress for the performance here. Every woman I approached responded very warmly, very enthusiastically, and already within very short time I had very precious textiles and moving, heartbreaking stories of women in my hands and I started to stitch, I started to compose, I started to weave all these stories together. This jeans dress uh, used to belong to Rasha Nahas, who is a wonderful Palestinian musician. This textile here um, is from Japan, from Kyoto, where it was bought in 1971. This blue scarf belonged to the Persian grandmother of a translator, part of a wedding dress by a Bulgarian painter, this beautiful uh, pink blouse that used to belong to a French artist, canvases of artists. This is uh, from the first concert dress of a cellist. This is a scarf also connected to a wedding. I try not to expect anything from the audience. I really don't like when people do something for you, but expect something in return. In my work, I really try to do the opposite. And I hope they will be open enough to accept whichever gift or music I might be able to prepare for them. The violin itself, the instrument, it's something that I didn't choose. It's something that my, my parents gave to me when I was uh, five. This instrument specifically is an Italian instrument that is 300 years old. My relationship to the violin as an instrument in general is actually very practical in the sense that it's, um, it's the material that I know best how to work with. This instrument specifically really is uh, my soulmate actually. It's like getting to know a 300 year old person. I wouldn't say that this instrument is my heart, but something like soulmate would definitely be a good term.